Hello everybody, in this video I would like to show to you how to do an edge detection using OpenCV in Python. Let us import the OpenCV. Next, we open our image using the cv2.imread and we read our image as a grayscale image. Let us preview our image using the cv2.imshow. So this is our original image. The image here is sudoku image and we will use the sobel operator to detect the vertical and the horizontal line as well as the number from this image. So there are two types of sobel operator. The first one is sobel operator that calculates the pixel difference in the x direction. With this operation we will obtain the vertical line from the image and the second operation is sobel operator in vertical direction with this operation we will get a horizontal line okay let us try first the sobel operator in the horizontal direction or in the x direction here the sobel operator built in function from opencp is written as this one cv2.sobel and there are four input here the first input is our original image the second input here is ddep. This is basically just determine the data type of the output image. Here I type negative ones, meaning that the output image here, the Sobel X, will have the same data type as the input image. You can check this link and it will bring you into this start overflow web page. This is the other type of ddep that you can type here you can type cv2 dot cv underscore edu or cv underscore t 2 f this is the explanation if you want the output as a float or double S simply you can type cv2 dot cv underscore 32 f for now we will just use negative one here the third and the fourth input variable will determine the type of the Sobel operator. Here I type dx equal to 1 and dy equal to 0. This means that this Sobel operator will calculate the difference in the horizontal direction. And the last variable is the kernel size. Let us run the cell and let us preview the result. Okay, so this is the result from the Sobel operator in the horizontal direction. Next, we apply the Sobel operator in a vertical direction. This method we will get the horizontal line from the image. Let's we preview the result. Alright, so this is the result from the Sobel operator in a vertical direction. Next, we can combine the result of x and the y direction of the Sobel operator. We can use the cv2.add weighted within function to add these two images. So the first image here or the source one is the Sobel X and then we set the alpha as 0 0.5 and the second image here is the Sobel underscore Y and we set the beta as 0 0.5 and we set the gamma is equal to 0. Let's preview the result of this combination. Alright, so this is the result after we combine the result from the Sobel operator in the horizontal and the vertical direction. As you can see here, the edge, the vertical line and the horizontal line, as well as the number, is appear as a gray color. In order to get a better image result, we can apply a image thresholding. Here, we use the cv 2 threshold built-in function for the image thresholding. The first input here is the image which is the combination image that we would like to apply a threshold into this uh, image next is the threshold value i set here 20 so this is mean that any pixel value less than 20 will change zero and the value larger than 20 will change to white color or to the maximum value of 255 and the type of operation here we set as cv 2trace underscore binary let's we run this one so the cv 2 threshold will return to output. The first one is, we call it RET. This is basically just the threshold value. We can check it here, beta RET. And then the second output is the threshold image. We will display this image. So this is the final result of image thresholding. 
and if you want to display all the results simply we just call all the image variable using the cp.im show let's we try this one all right so this is our original image and then we apply the sobel operator in x as well as in y direction and then we combine these two results we obtain this um, sorry we obtain this uh, combination result and then we apply the image thresholding our final result of image detection looks like this if you want to use the Jupyter notebook file in this video you can download it in my github repository i put the link in the description see you on the next video